Hello Desert Bearhawk fans, we're back in the shop and a solution has been achieved. We found a way to rivet those number five rivets and it's with this C-frame riveter that we got from Avery. And we got a 5 30 second set right in there, you can see it. And then, but the key to this whole thing is to see this heavy steel bar right here running all the way down to that steel plate on the floor. That bar sits right up underneath this anvil. So when you whack this rivet, all that energy is transferred to this bar. And this bar is four by two, three eighths inch wall thickness square tubing. So all of that energy goes right to here and there's nowhere for it to go. So it drives those rivets perfect. So what we do, and here's the big picture. You can see that that's in the middle. Oops, sorry about that. About tripped. You can see that's in the middle of my bench, and we just slide the spar up and down, and then we take this four-pound hammer, Harbor Freight, eleven bucks. Where is it? There it is. Harbor Freight, eleven bucks. It's got a little bit of tennis racket wrap on there to make it more comfortable and slip free, and we just take that sucker, and when it's in there, we just give them a hit and it drives them right in and I'll tell you what let me show you one see if you can see it there's one right there see how that's just driven down just perfect here's another here's another one down here at this end we did six tonight we're super excited there's another one just perfect exactly seven and a half thirty seconds in diameter and it's a proper height perfect did that one we did that one right there, I don't know if it'll focus in. But we did two on either end and two in the middle. Total of six. And we are on our way with Riven in the spar, folks. So, those guys who are getting ready to rivet their spars, if you haven't invested in one of these C-frames yet, you're going to need it anyway. Get it. Go down to your local welding shop or your black iron shop. Those boys probably got a piece of steel in their remnant pile you can get for free or a few bucks. And if you tell them what you're doing, they might help you. Throw a little weld on there. Man, I'm telling you what. I can hit this thing with a 30-pound sledgehammer and it ain't moving. Period. So we'll shoot some video tomorrow of us actually driving some rivets, but that's how we're doing it. So until then, see you in the shop.